runway two. So we're uh, we are right here. We're going to taxi out onto Delta, um, or we're going to hold go up to the old short line. Call for ground clearance to taxi. I expect he'll give us Delta to Alpha. We'll taxi down to Alpha. He'll give us uh, or not give us clearance to cross runway two nine. So we'll look for that uh, in his ground clearance, and then we'll taxi all the way down to uh, runway two via Alpha and do our run up in the run up area down here. Okay. So we're going to turn which way on Alpha? We're going to turn right on Alpha. I like it. All right. As promised, I'll do the radios out there, and you do the radios back. And it'll be the same procedure um, from there back here. Okay. So we're going to call for taxi, but we're also going to ask him for a squat code, uh, transponder code, to go through Bradley's airspace. Okay. Brandon Crown, Warrior, 2476 Spike, midfield taxi with uh, Spike, and request a squat code of the Bards, 2,000 feet. 76 Mike, departure 123.905, squawk 5246. 5246-2395, 76 Mike. Read that correct, you ready to taxi? A firm. 76 Mike, runway 2, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 29. Taxi runway 2 via Alpha, cross 29, 2476 Mike. Alright, so we'll All right. What just happened, right? <laughs> All right, go ahead. So we can taxi to runway two, as we briefed. Yep. And I will explain what just happened. Clear on the left, clear on the right, turn in alpha. So it's a little different every time you do this. So I called and said, I'm ready to taxi yep. with all the stuff that we normally say, plus I want a squat code up to Barnes because we have to go through Bradley's Class C airspace. Right. So he came right back with 12395, which is Bradley's departure frequency. Okay, that's what that was. And then he gave us a squat code of 5246, which is only for us. Right. So. 5246 corresponds to Warrior 2476 Mike today, and every air traffic controller knows it. Okay. So that's how they're going to know who we are while we're going through Bradley. So he's putting that into a system somewhere up there, right? Yep. Actually, he's on Bradley system, so he just types it in, just like a Bradley controller would do. Gotcha. And it just automatically assigns us that code, and so now... All the towers that are on that system around here know Bradley approach knows, Bradley tower knows. And then they could, if we wanted to say, like, go to Boston, like, that code travels with us. Gotcha. Um, Our unique identifier. Correct. Otherwise, we're just 1,200, and we're just another guy out there right. running 1,200. So that's what that is. So they may give us another one when we go leave Barnes. They may keep us on this one. We'll see what happens. Okay. I say Barnes, but they don't like to be called Barnes. They like to be called Westfield. Okay. Very particular. Yes. Clear right. left. Clear right. Clear across. Okay. Clear across. And 2-9 is active today, right? to go into good speed and stuff though. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're familiar with short runways. Alright, I'll just get a little closer here. So remember, roll about three feet before you stop to straighten out that nose wheel because we stop with the nose wheel pointed like this. Gotcha. So okay. let the airplane roll. you completed your turn, let it roll an extra three feet to let that nose go straight down. Makes sense. 
just had a guy blow a tire doing his run up and it didn't straighten his nose wheel and all that pressure from the run up just pulled the tire yep. and it Oy. popped and they had to come out here and change the tire and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm like, who's your instructor? <laughs> Extra rich, throttle 2000, brakes. Good. Oil pressure is good. Enunciator panel is good. Car heat. Good. Electric fuel pump as well. Pump things down a little bit here. Electric fuel pump. We'll go ahead and uh, change switch tanks. Okay. Bring it ground. Benz eight one eight five Romeo Atlantic. All right. Head taxi runway two, departure yeah, to uh, point. Carb heat on and bring it down to idle. Number eight five Romeo, runway two, taxi via Alpha, cross two nine. Via Alpha, cross two nine eight five Romeo. Good. Back up to a thousand. Carb heat off. All right. Fuel selector, we've done that. Master switch is on. Fuel, flight instruments. Directional indicator set to the compass. We've got uh, ground still on there. Okay, and fuel pump on. Engine gauges we checked. Carb heat is off. Seatbacks are wrecked. Mixture is set to full. Primer is locked. Belts and harnesses are fastened. Up, oh, let me get my shoulder belt here. Jason, he's doing a check ride right now. <laughs> All right, seatbelts, flaps are down, trim tab is set back for takeoff. External lights will do on the lights camera action. Transponder is already set. Your one we'll turn left. Charlie, we'll taxi straight into the Jesus frequency. Oh, we're gonna go to Premier straight okay. into uh, the field. Eight three zero. If you would, uh, straight across Alpha to uh, Juliet for Premier. Across Alpha to Juliet, thank you. It's easier when I go. Oh, it sounds okay. <laughs> Doesn't sound frazzled? No. Alright, so what's going to happen is we're going to talk to Tower, we're going to get clearance to take off. After we get close to the edge of his airspace, he's going to hand us over to Bradley Departure. Okay. Then I'm going to call up Bradley Departure, and since they know we're coming, I can just kind of blurt out what I'm going to say. So my thing will be, Bradley, uh, first of all, I'm going to put 12395, which is the frequency. I'm going to put over here, 1270 is the ATIS, ATIS. at right? Yep. No sense in waiting on that stuff. I can go ahead and switch it in now. Uh, 1271 is the ATIS. So, my call will be Bradley Departure, Warrior 2476 Mike, whatever we happen to be climbing through at the time. Climbing through 400 to 1,500. Okay. Uh, and then he'll say, uh, are you familiar with the runway one transition at Bradley? And I'll say yes, and essentially that is flying right over runway one at whatever altitude we choose. And then people are taking off and landing underneath us, and we stay out of everybody's way. Okay. Then right after that, he's going to switch us over to Bradley Tower. And Bradley Tower is going to work us going over the top of the airport. And then after he switches us to tower, i got to tune in and get uh, Westfield's ATIS right away because as soon as we get on the other side of Bradley, he's going to switch us over to Westfield Tower, but I have to be ready to call them with the ATIS and all the stuff that we normally say. So it's a really, really busy radio flight. You'll see. Okay. And uh, like I said, I'll do it on the way over, you do it on the way back. All you right. can make this call if you want. All right, so we are on ground, right? Oh, we're on tower now. Tower. Yep. And we're on 
off runway 2. Brenda Tower Warrior 2476 Mike is holding short runway 2, ready for takeoff to Barton North. We're 2476 Mike, Brenda Tower, runway 2, clear for takeoff, proceed on course. Clear for takeoff runway 2, 2476 Mike, thanks. Alright, clear for takeoff, so you go bang bang bang, which is oh, lights, camera. Don't forget the lights. Lights, camera, action, make sure throttle, uh, finals clear, runway's clear, we're going to have a pretty hellacious crosswind from the left, so we're going to want left aileron in, so we're going to need right rudder to make us go straight down the runway, as we accelerate we'll start rolling out some of that uh, aileron, if you feel the right wing trying to fly before the rest of the plane, like that. Yep. <laughs> Airspeed's alive. A little more right rudder to get back on the center line. There's 55. Right, right oh, rudder, yeah. right oh, rudder, yeah. right rudder. There you go, wings level, right rudder. So the, we're going to weather vane right into the wind. We're going to fly that way, although we're going to be pointed that way. Okay. Ah, it's a rudder. 80 knots. We're gonna only climb up to 1,500. Well, climb up. Yeah. We'll climb up to 2,000. Warrior 32793, about 8 miles south with uh, information by. Warrior 32793, Brenner Tower. Make straight up. Runway 2, report 2 mile final. Runway 2, report 2 mile. 32793. Brenner Tower, Bonanza 8185, Romeo, holding short runway 2, raise the parking. Oh. Bonanza 8185 Romeo Brenner Tower, runway 2, clear for takeoff, turn right on course. You're going to aim right for that garbage dump over there. Two, clear for All right. Off, Romeo. I just got to take out the rudder to do that. Yep, that's <laughs> it. Please, so we're going to level off at 1,000? 2,000. 2,000, okay. Mike, contact departure. Over to departure for Warrior 76 Mike Seal. Good afternoon, Bradley. Warrior 2476 Mike's through 1100, climbing 2000, headed to Westfield. 2476 Mike, Bradley, departure, Bradley, Altimer 3008, your radar contact. So the double click I approach stop two six means I acknowledge thirteen for one one thousand Papa. It's a pretty day otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, that's Bradley right out there, right? Yep. So you see that runway that's just starting to come into view, kind of at that angle right there? Yep. We're going to come over here, line up with that, and fly straight over the top of it. Okay. And then you got those hills way out there. Yep. Westfield is going to be just on the left side of those hills. Of that jagged hill there? Yep. Okay. Just on the right side? Or left. Oh, left side. Okay. Left side. All right. Coming up on 2000 here. Almost 50 knots for fight, so might as well just keep the power up. Probably around 25-ish. Muscle through this. One, two, zero, point three is going to be our next frequency. Approach out 269 with you, uh, 1 1000, bye bye. That was 269, Bradley approach, Bradley Altimer 3008, expect the visual approach, runway 33. 33, southwest uh, 269. Southwest. With your latest, uh, 
it looks like six would be the uh, best one for south of 269. Are you uh, are accepting sixes? There you uh, go. Sir, we can't not do opposite direction, and right now the wind is three four zero at one two. We can turn uh, right a little uh, bit, and fly straight down that runway. Two six nine, turn right direct homey. Just gonna maintain one zero thousand. Rudder, rudder, rudder. Direct homey at uh, one zero thousand, south two sixty nine. There you go. Got a nice little crab going. Uh, I would call it. Uh, Pretty sure light shot, maybe mostly smooth for the most part. It's a good ride. Yeah, it's actually Very good. Kind of crowded approach on. Calm one down one quite a bit. Zero. One one nine point zero. Mercury fifty nine eighty three. Thanks. Number seven six Mike. Kind of Bradley Tower one two zero point three for the transition. Roger over to Tower seven six Mike. Good afternoon, Bradley Warrior two four seven six Mike's with you two thousand for the transition. November 2476, Mike Bradley Tower, overfly, runway 1, northbound, report any altitude changes. This man will overfly runway 1, northbound, and report anything, uh, any altitude changes to you, 76 Mike. Oh, like that, 100 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Runway one, it's a little runway, but if we go right over the top of that, she can land and take people off on three, three, and one, five, and two, four, and six, and we don't get in anybody's way. Gotcha. So it's a little clever, uh, clever deal they do. So now she's not going to say anything to us unless something happens, and we don't have anything to say to anybody. But as soon as we get on the other side of the airport, she's going to switch us over to Barnes, okay, in Westfield. So now is where I get my ATIS 27 uh -huh. one. Full information, Mike, is at 1553 Zulu. Wind 330 at 15, gust 24. Visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 24, 2.07. Altimeter 3007. Landing and departing, runway 2, wind 33. IFR inbound, expect the VOR or visual approach. Departing VFR aircraft, modify ground on initial contact with both your destination and altitude. If you will enter Bradley Class Charlie airspace or need a squat code for VFR advisories, besides you have information, Mike. Do you want to write that down, or...? Good information, Mike, yeah. is at 1553 five, Zulu. Wind 330 at 15, gust 24. Visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 24, 2.07, altimeter 3007. Landing and departing, runway 2, wind 33. Three. IFR inbound, expect a VOR or visual approach. Departing VFR aircraft, modify ground on initial contact with both your destination and altitude. If you will enter Bradley Class Charlie airspace, or need a squat code for VFR advisory. 3559 Bradley Tower, wind 340 at 10, runway 33, close for kickoff. Let's pick up 33, three, lecture 35. Special information, Mike, is at 1553 Zulu. Wind 330 at 15, gust 24. Visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 24, 2.07, altimeter 3007. Landing and departing, runway 2 and 33. Three. IFR inbound, expect the VOR or visual approach. Okay. Departing VFR. Alright, so our next frequency and top one is going to be Westfield Tower. So you can go ahead and pre select that. 118.9. Sorry. For, for where? For here? Yep. So you can just put it in. We're not going to switch to it yet, but... Okay. So as soon as they switch us, all we got to do is push. This, this is good. Just the multitasking, writing stuff down and flying and all that. I got to get... I need more of that, you know? Oh, yeah. Got a guy taking off 3-3. Running down the runway CRJ? ERJ? Ugh. Oh yes. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's pushing us up. Flagship 3559, contact departure, good day. See ya. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right, so that long strip you see with the big white building on it, Yep. that is Westfield. Okay. They're using runway two, so we're gonna kinda come in on a right base, or straight in-ish. 
They'll kind of go that way yeah. and then in. Yeah, but we can't we can't change our course until she tells us. Right. So we just gotta keep aiming this way. Seven six Mike on course, your discretion. <laughs> Of course, our discretion under 76 Mike, thanks. Oh, there you go. Now she told us. So we'll just keep flying like this. There is indeed a big tower on the hill before the airport that you can't see oh, too I see well. It. Yeah, I see it. Yep. So we'll just kind of correct to the left a little bit and get set up for the straight in to uh, runway two. There you go. And we're going to do some low approaches. And I'll walk you through it. I'll probably have my hands on the controls for the first one. Sure. We're going to fly everything like we do, nice and normal, down to about where we flare. But okay. instead of flaring, we're just going to add some power. And we're going to hold our altitude. And we're going to fly down the runway. And you're going to have to do whatever is necessary to keep you from drifting and from letting your nose point left or right. Okay, it'll be a fun little exercise. And it's going to be feel like an eternity because you got 9,000 feet of runway to fly down before I tell you to go around. And then we're going to do a go around at the end of it. Ugh. And come around the pattern and do it hopefully a couple, three times. November 76, my greater service terminated. Remain in your present code. Contact Westfield Tower. All right, we'll keep our present code and over to Westfield Tower. Thanks for your help, 2476-Mike. All right, so over to Westfield Tower. We'll correct just to the right a little bit. We'll have about a two-mile final. If you aim right for the city of Westfield there, the populated area, that'll be pretty good. Good afternoon, Westfield Tower. Warrior 2476-Mike uh, just past Bradley inbound for some low approaches on two with Mike. Number 2476, Mike, uh, Westfield Tower, Roger. Make sure you runway two, report two mile final. Wind 320 at 15 gust 25. Roger, report the two mile final for runway two, 2476, Mike. Got all that? Runway two, 2476, Mike, report two mile final. All right. Mile final. So where's two miles? Not over the city? Yep. Okay. About that. So if you, well, that runway's about two miles long. So take half the runway and kind of superimpose it out, or take the runway Full and runway. just put it yep. out. So right at the far edge of the city, it's probably two miles. The, the far edge, okay. Yeah. Yep. That's the way, I mean, that's the way I kind of judge distance. I think about how long my runway is. 5,000 feet is a mile, roughly a mile, you know? Yep. So that's almost two miles long. So if I just kind of take that distance and superimpose it out. Makes sense. Yeah. All right, so that we'll call our two mile final. Pattern altitude's 1,300. Okay. So I'll start a, start a descent here. Only took 12 minutes to get here. <laughs> it's great when you can travel in straight lines, you know. Yeah.
All right, so what checklist will we have want to have done by now? Uh, landing checklist, fuel on proper tank. Oh. Uh, we never turned our fuel pump off, but we'd want to bring that on. Okay. Mixture of full rich, we didn't lean it, so we're good there. All right. Um, landing lights on. Yep. Seat backs erect, flaps set. We'll worry about that, and uh, seat belts fastened. What altitude are we going to? 1300, which I'm already below. And we'll use carb heat. Good idea. So probably over this where all the school buses are. Okay. Call two mile final. Follow that down. This is good. We see the crab right now, right? Yep. We're heading straight for the runway, but our nose is pointed way over there. That's awesome. We're going to get rid of that here in a second. <laughs> Uh, Westfield Tower Warrior 2476 Mike is two mile straight in for runway two. 476 Mike, runway two, clear for low approach. Clear for low approach, 2476 Mike, thanks. Alright, you can go ahead and put flaps in. Reduce power a little bit. Oh, look at that wind is trying to take you away. Yep. Westfield Tower, Decathlon 108, Billy uh, Golf, over Northampton, inbound for landing with Mike. Number 8, Juliet Golf, Westfield Tower, and a right base, runway 33, report entering right base, two miles out. Report two mile right base for 338, Juliet Golf. Alright, here we go. So let's go ahead, keep descending. Now let's go ahead and put left aileron, right rudder. A little more right rudder, got to get that nose straight. There you go, we're going to fly this cross control all the way down to where we normally would flare and then for this whole lower approach. Okay. I want you to fly. So, nose needs to be straight, so more right rudder. Back over here, see how now the nose is straight? Oh, uh, yeah. So left tail around that way. This thing doesn't fly over into the grass. Left tail around, right rudder. More right rudder. Woo ha! More right rudder. Gotta take a whole lot of right rudder. All right, go ahead and go flaps full. Keep bringing it down. 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 Take out a little bit of power. Keep bringing it down. There you go. Watch those birds right about here. Now see how we're not straight? Yep. Push more right rudder. More power in. There you go. Nope. Yep. Want the nose straight. So more left aileron, more right rudder. There. I want to be straight. There we go. Now we're getting blown off the center line, so I'm just going to more left aileron to come back over here to the center line. More right rudder. There we go. Woo-ha. <laughs> I keep it straight. I don't know if you're fighting me. Push with that right foot. See how the nose is straight? Yep. There you go. That's what we want. Got to get back over to the center line. A little more power. There you go. Coming over here to get on the center line. Wow. 
little more power. We've run out of rudder. Let's go around. Full throttle. Now we let it weather vane. Car heat off. Flaps one click down. By the airplane. Whoa. One more click of flaps. By the airplane. Right rudder now. Let this girl climb. Just leave that right there. Let her climb at 80 knots. Flaps up. Yep. Then you some nose up. Yep. 80 knots. Let it climb. 76 Mike, let's do it again. 76 Mike, make left traffic. Left traffic, 76 Mike. <laughs> wow, what do you think? <laughs> that was insane. Alright, up to 1300 feet, left hand traffic. Alright, left traffic. Do I start my left before I'm at? Yeah. yeah. Yep, here's good. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon, Montreal Approach, ACF 4870. Russell Power, the Gulf 1, 8 Golf, 2 mile right base, 3 3. Right, Chile Golf, runway 3 3, cleared to land. Cleared to land, 3 3, 8 Chile Golf. 8. Wind 3 5 0 at 1 5, goes 2 3. 8 Chile Golf. Alright, good spot to turn downwind. So we actually, we must have hit one of those 24 knot gusts. We actually ran out of rudder. I had the rudder pegged full right and we couldn't straighten out the nose. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. So now we got to crab to the right because the wind is trying to blow us into the airport, yeah, I see right? that. Big time. Looking for somebody on the base for 3-3. Pull our power back just a hair. Keep it inside the white arc. Let them know we're midfield. Westfield. Westfield Tower Warrior 2476 Mike, midfield for all way 2. 1300. Number 76 Mike, right there, expect clearance. Uh Turning final, traffic landing runway 33. Okay, we'll look for that traffic sensor. I just play the normal pen and I'll give you the clearance on final. Alright, here we go. Let's see, I see, I saw that traffic. 33, so he should be over there, right? Yep. Oh, goodness. Alright, here we go. Car repeats on, power reduction. Flaps 10. Get your trim. Alright, she's on short final. Number 76 Mike, runway 2, clear for low approach. Clear for low approach, 76 Mike, thanks. Alright, we need to be descending just a little bit here. There you go. When all else fails, fly the airplane. Here's a good spot to turn. Go ahead and turn base. Now we're going to get a super tailwind, so go ahead and reduce the power and get flaps 20. This is going to try to blow us through real quick. Go ahead and get that nose down, down, get that nose down. Right on Alpha, then taxi to parking, remain this frequency. Left on 2 there, right on Alpha, taxi parking, and stay with you, HLA Golf. Nose down trim might help. There you go. Alright, let's fly the airplane like you know to do. We'll get the rest of the flaps on short final, on short final. Okay. So this is perfect. We're coming into this. We're just going to keep that left aileron in there. 
And we're going to have to add some right rudder to straighten it out. Add some power. Add some more power. That sounds about right. Alright, let me see you push that right rudder straight in the nose. Good. Keep that left aileron down right there. Keep that nose pointed down. Looking good. Keep flying it. Keep flying it. Don't get high. Keep it descending. Keep it descending. Not diving. Just keep it descending. Last notch out. Off flaps. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. All right. Keep it coming down. Keep it coming down. Keep it coming down. Take out just a little bit of power. Sink it down a little bit. We're getting blown to the right, which is not what we want. There we go. Yeah, we're kind of a little sideways. Right rudder, right rudder. Some power now. Don't let it touch, don't let it touch. Right there. We're still sideways. More right rudder. Just pick your left foot up and push with your right. There you go. That did it. We're getting blown, so correct back towards the center line. No left, no left. Just pick your left foot up. You won't need it. Just push with your right. I'm up to the floor. There you go. This is crosswind correction. All right, let's go around. Full throttle. Wings level, little right rudder. Flaps one click. Repeat off. Accelerating and climbing. Next flaps. Accelerating and climbing. Keep it climbing. Keep it climbing. Like climbing? <laughs> climbing, climbing. Yep, yeah, pull back. Trim it out. There we go. And 7-6 Mike, like to do one more, then head back to Brainerd. 7-6 Mike, Roger, make left traffic. 7-6 Mike, Roger. 80 knots, so get that nose up, keep it climbing. So first one, I was on the controls a lot. This one I was not on so much. Hopefully this one I won't have to be on at all. We shall see. <laughs> That's pretty nerve-wracking for yeah. summer. <laughs> Again, it's getting that seat of the pants feeling, you know. Right. to the airport. Yep. Look at that. What's pattern? 13. Where are we at? Wow, we jumped right up. That power out. More, more, more. We want to be at 100 knots. I'm going to take a whole lot of flying the airplane today. <laughs> Alright, there's pattern and we're below. Yep, but you're going to need some power or else you're just going to keep sinking. Westfield Tower Warrior 2476 Mike is midfield for runway 2. 2476 Mike from runway 2, clear for low approach. Clear for low approach, 76 Mike, thanks.
Alrighty, coming up a beam to numbers. Car so we got our feet on. Yep. What else? And first notch flaps. Uh, before that. Uh, power reduction. Power reduction. There you go. Start our descent. No, don't start your descent yet. First okay. notch. So it's car feet, power, flaps, then start your descent. Okay. There you go. So we're getting slow. So actually probably need to put a little more power back in. Probably a little nose down trim. Uh, I think I can overshoot it. So, coming around to a tailwind, right? Yep. But as we roll out of this tailwind, it's going to take power. Because we're going to be coming back into a headwind and crosswind. So, we go flaps 25. With the trim, nose down, so we don't climb. Push it, like push that. it, push it, yep, push it, push it, push it, push it. We'll get the last flaps on a short final, crossing the fence. So we're high, so we need to descend. Push it down, push it down. There you go. Keep that left aileron in there. Keep it pushing down, keep that nose down, right there. Bang, bang, bang. Now, we're not straight. I fly back over here to the center line. Yeah, keep descending. Go ahead and pull in full flaps. As we're still high, push it down. There we go. Ready? Ready. Keep it descending. Left aileron, right rudder. Just lift that left foot off the rudder pedal. There you go. Keep it coming down. Here's normally where we would start flaring. So keep it flying down the runway. Oh, we're losing it. Power in. Left aileron, right rudder. Keep that. Right rudder. Enough just to keep us straight. More power, more power, more power, more power. Don't let it touch down. More power. Let's accelerate a little bit. There you go. A little left aileron. See how we're drifting right? Yep. Good. So you need the left aileron in there. Keep that in there. Heavy power. Yep, there it is. Alright, go around. Nice and easy. Level, level, level. There you go. No sudden moves during the go around. <laughs> Get those flaps. Climb and climb and accelerate next notch. There you go. Alright, go ahead, next notch. Trim, 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 trim. Back to hot. Uh, Westfield Tower, War 2476 Mike, we'd like to depart back to uh, Harper Brainerd. Number 76 Mike, uh, proceed on course to Brainerd. I'll have a uh, trend, uh, correction I hand off to Bradley momentarily. Proceed on course, 76 Mike, thanks. Alright, that'll okay. be a right turn. Right turn. Okay. Whoa, that wasn't me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we almost didn't fly today. <laughs> a right turn, little right rudder, right turn. Get her coming around. Ugh.
But we're going to stay just on the left side of this ridge line, so keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, turn it, turn it, turn it. Little right rudder will help you out with this. There you go. We want to stay on this side? Yep. Okay. Or else we might bust into Westover's airspace over there. You can see Hartford Street in front of you. Right out there, yep. Yep, and Bradley and the tower. So we'll end up going just left of the tower this time, over Bradley to Hartford. And the transition will be yours this time. Remembering all appropriate checklists as needed. Alright, so we can actually do our after takeoff checklist. Yep. Which is uh, fuel pump off, uh, landing lights off. Uh, strobe stay on. Yeah, you probably leave your landing light on too, since we're right near an airport going to two others. <laughs> okay. Here comes two grand. Getting ready to level. What's the departure frequency? Uh, Bradley's. Yep. Look up the top of the list. So we were just on tower. Okay. Next is. Bradley, 12535. Got your pre select that. Okay, so that's so that's Bradley approach? Yeah, ap approach and departure. Just okay. if you're coming or going to an airport, they just it's the same guy. Okay. And then after that we're gonna need to talk to Tower. Right. Bradley Tower. Bradley Tower, right. So were you dialing that into here? I could dial it into here, right? Uh, no. After you're talking to him, then you just put it in standby there. Okay. But you can put Hartford ATIS active now. Right. 12645. As soon as you talk to Tower, Bradley Tower, you're going to need to talk to you, get the ATIS. Alright, got runway one nine. Runway one nine coming into sight over there. That little short one right yep. in front of us. So the wind's trying to blow you south of it. That way. So you gotta correct to the right. Right, got it. Yeah, I see that. So what we were doing with the correction for landing is called a side slip. Okay. And we side slip for landing. So that's the way you wanna be when you or in a crosswind for touchdown. Okay. Now what we're doing now is a crab. Right. So you can crab all the way down to time to flare, dip the wing into the wind, straighten out the nose wheel, land it, stop it. Yep. So a side slip as opposed to a forward slip, which is to lose altitude, right? Correct. Okay. For 76 mic contact departure. Contact departure, so that's my thanks. All right, so now we want to go over to COM2, right? Oh, uh, no, no, we're right here. Yep. Okay. And that's Bradley departure, Warrior 2476 Mike's with you, 2,000 feet for the transition. Bradley departure, Warrior 2476 Mike is with you at 2,000 feet for the transition. Warrior 2476 Mike, Bradley departure, radar contact, I'll turn it 3008, South Sea climbing to. We'll okay. stay at 2,000. I'll stay at 2,000. Roger. We're 76, Mike. Uh, fly the runway 119 transition southbound. Fly the runway 119 transition southbound, Roger. Fly runway uh, 19 transition southbound, Roger. We're 76, Mike. Mike Tower 120.3. Over to Tower. Over to tower point three, so that's my next. Um, so now I want to put in... Southwest 2753, comes approach, 123.9 or 5. 2395, Southwest 27. 120.3. Riley Tower, Warrior 2476, Mike's with you, 2000 for the 19 transition. Riley Tower, Warrior 2476, Mike's with you, 2100 for the 19 transition. Warrior 76 Mike Bell Tower, fly runway 1 hour, maintain VFR, Bradley Altimeter 3008. Roger. Roger, Warrior 76 Mike, thanks. 
So he told us maintain VFR, so we have to make sure we look for other airplanes, stay at 2,000 feet, and he gave you an altimeter setting to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Right, 2008 it's already on there. All right, so now we need to go ahead and get Bra uh, Brainer's ATIS. All right, so I have that on COM2. There you go, listen to COM2. VFR departures, flying under the Bradley Charlie airspace, are advised their ground destination for transponder code, voluntary noise beamer procedures are in caution for his own vicinity airport. As it is, what information is available on flight service? Go, Mike. Sounds Our like information, it. Mike, current 1553, Greenwich, and 340 at 15 decimal 25. Visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 24, do All right, turn that off. Temperature 30. We're going to fly down one down nine, down and then just keep going at the city. He'll release us at some point on the other side. Who are we going to talk to next? Uh, we're going to talk to uh, Brainerd Tower. So we'll go ahead and pre-select that in there. Uh, Brainerd Tower is one, one nine or point six. American 73, be ready again. Hold on. I have the airplane. American 73 Bradley Tower, fly runway heading, runway 33, clear for takeoff. Runway 33 on the runway heading, clear for takeoff, American 73. Arkin. American, getting ready to take off. Well, he's cleared for takeoff, so he's going to taxi out and run down the runway. Up, oh, descent. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Leaving the ground now. I think that's a 767. Bradley Tower, Southwest 2753 is right down with 33. Southwest 2753, Bradley Tower, wind 34014, runway 33, clear land. Out there somewhere. 33, clear land, Southwest 2753. There he is, off our wing out there. American 73, contact departure, good day. There's a guy on final, I just saw down yep, here somewhere. Right there. there he is. Alright, so we don't talk to Brainerd until we've been handed off, right? Correct. They own us right now. Airport's just beyond the uh, just beyond the city to the left there, right? That is correct. Uh, but we're going to be coming down runway two. Now, is it a right pattern for runway two? Uh, it will be left for us. Left for us, okay. As we're going to stay on this side of the airport. Right. We're not going to cross across the takeoff. <laughs> right. Makes sense. Normally, if you're doing pattern work on runway two, is it a right pattern? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So if we were to land and then want to continue, then he would make us go right after that. Okay. If he had. Might be on course. On course. On course for 769. Which is pretty much this right here. If you just keep flying what you're flying, you'll be set up for perfectly for a left uh, entry into the downwind. Correct. Right. Okay. On a 45. Don't let the wind hand it to you, though. RT76, Mike, 
Air Service terminated. Free exchange approved. Rear and present squawk. Have a good day. Present squawk. Free exchange approved. See ya. What's the squawk? This present squawk. Oh. Present squawk. Uh, we'll change show. Thanks. Have a good day. Okay, so now we can change over. We got there. 260. Runway 24 is available for the turn. Left turn 24. Left turn Sierra. Ground point. Out. We are how far? Ah, just past Bradley. Okay. Should I call now or do yep. I wait? Right on Tower Warrior 2476 Mike is north just past Bradley inbound for a full stop landing. November 2476 Mike, Rainer Tower into the right downwind runway 2. Right downwind runway 2, 2476 Mike. Okay, I guess he does want us to go on the other side of the airport. I would just confirm right down the window. Uh, Tower, Warrior 2476 Mike, can you confirm right down with the runway 2? 76 Mike, yeah, the left down will work if you prefer that. Yeah. Okay, we'll take the left down one for runway 2, 76 Mike. So it's always good if it doesn't make sense the query ATC. Yep. So, what he told us... Mike, give me number two following a Cardinal about five west coming in, and I'll keep you advised. Okay, we'll look for that traffic center. Radar Tower, Cardinal five west. Cardinal five five west. west. Oh, I'm sorry. Cardinal five five, Victor, Radar Tower, into the left base, runway two, altimeter 3007. All right. So, when we get over here by these buildings and bridges, we want to be at a thousand feet. With all appropriate checklists done. All right, so we want to fuel on proper tank. Let's switch tanks. Yeah, might as well leave it now. Okay. Uh, mixture rich. Uh, we want to put the carb heat on, fuel pump on. Start our descent here, get down to pattern altitude. Tower, Skyhawk 103, Power Fox Shot, holding short, uh, runway 2, uh, ready for takeoff, uh, VFR to southwest. Justin 113, Papa Fox Shot, Rainer Tower, hold short. Hold short, 113, Papa Fox Shot. I do not see that traffic. No, he's uh, setting up for a two mile base, and he's a cardinal, so he's pretty fast. And just stay left of the buildings. Uh oh, a little more left. Five, five, Victor. There'll be traffic in position and departing momentarily. There he is. He's crossing right, right over the highway. I Three see him. Fox Trot. Runway two, line up and wait. Traffic's a cardinal on the left base. Line up and wait. Uh, we'll look for the traffic. Uh, one, one, three, five, five, seven. Start to walk number two, five, nine, two, nine, six, five, seven, seven. What? Nine two nine, second. Start two five nine two nine. Request option for that way two. Nine two nine. You be number two. Follow a card. I'll keep you advised. Number two. We are looking for traffic. Two five nine two nine. Yes, that guy. Got down. Fox shot runway two. Quick for takeoff. Quick for takeoff runway two. Three five fox shot. That guy here. This guy here. So we're going to be number three. So five five Victor. Clear to land runway well, two. Why don't we go ahead and just go flaps ten now? Five five Victor. Rather than flying out to. New Haven. Let's keep it around 80 knots. So power it up. As we're gonna slow down. Need to bring up our pitch to so stop descending. Cardinal, uh, just off your right, turning final. Affirmative, 99. There you go. Follow the cardinal. He'll be a full stop. Number two, runway two, clear for touch and go. Call my midfield. Number two, runway two, clear touch and go. 2599. You can call midfield with the tomahawk in sight. Number seven six, Mike. Be number three, following a tomahawk, just approaching the. Uh, Bridge on right down. Want to be starting a right base here momentarily. Number three behind the Tomahawk. We have that traffic in sight for 765. Ah, see now if we keep the nose where it needs to be, that's why we need power to hold 80 knots. So there's the guy in final. The Tomahawk was on base, right? Yeah, we're getting ready to turn base here. So right, he was right off our wing. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Right yep. off my window. Okay. So a little slow, need a little more power. 
Right in the tower, Archer 2176 X ray, 11 miles to the south. There he is, we're going to make our turn. Archer 2176 X ray, Brainerd Tower, make straight in runway 2, oh. altimeter 3007, wind 330 at 14. Alright, take out a little bit of that power now, knowing that we're going to need to put it back on final. Let's start descending some. Go to Charlie, contact ground, 55 Victor. Go ahead and go flaps 20 if you want. Uh, 55 five, Victor, disregard uh, ground. You can stay this frequency. Taxi to parking. Don't let it climb. Take out the power. Number seven six Mike. Number two, following the Tomahawk now. Short final, clear to land. Number two behind the Tomahawk, clear to land. Seven six Mike. All right, turning on final here. Final we're high, so we need to descend, but we don't want to accelerate. So. It, oh. Alright, <laughs> I'm holding on to. So now we're accelerating, so more power out. More power out. Let's get a nice normal sight picture here. Gotta sink her down. Getting there, almost there. Go ahead and go flaps full. That'll help us out. Come on, five, two, All right, Charlie, power's four, coming four, out. A little bit. Two, four, Left four, aileron, four. right rudder down to the ground. Left aileron with that. Traffic inside, two, four, five, two, Charlie. Nope, that'd be right aileron. So, left aileron. Point the nose down. All right, power's coming out, left aileron, right rudder, left aileron, fly into the ground, left aileron, left right rudder, power's coming out. And increasing our aileron, just make sure we don't end up in the grass, coming up on the brakes, that's a hell of a crosswind landing right there. <laughs> Seven six Mike left to Charlie and uh, taxi to midfield this frequency. Left to Charlie, taxi to midfield this frequency. Seven six Mike. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got the aircraft. You get the after landing. All right. Taxi with him. I got the aircraft. Got the aircraft. Brainerd Tower. Right.